Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and we're going to be using a new deck here. I got the idea from a player named Kyle Sablehouse from the South Carolina area. This is going to be a... Uh, I was about to say Sableye. Flareon Cofagrigus deck. Now, if you don't know what those cards do... Flareon has the Vengeance attack, which does 20 plus 10 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Cofagrigus has the ability 6 feet under, a very gruesome and morose name for an ability, where you actually knock yourself out and put 3 damage counters on your opponent's field. Now that may sound like a very horrible ability, and trust me, it is very bad. Very, very bad. But... It combos with Flareon's Vengeance because it puts himself into the discard pile and also puts a little bit of damage on the opponent's board. So the idea is to just play as many cards as possible to get Pokemon in the discard pile and then use Flareon's Vengeance to knock things out in one hit. I'm going up against a player. Uh, his name is Mike Martindale from Canada. You can see his screen name is backwards. It's actually spelled backwards. <laughs> uh, it's his... Uh, little gimmick he has with his screen name. Uh, if, uh, he's been a part of the community for a long time, so he's a cool guy. And I believe he took second at Canadian Nationals last year, if I can remember correctly. But alright, we're going to start off here. He's playing a Darkrai Absol deck, it looks like, with uh, Chorus Machine, maybe Deoxys EX as well. And we're going to start off here with this Ultra Ball. I did not play the Juniper turn one because I had two Flareon in my hand. Didn't want to discard both. Seems like a recipe for disaster. And alright, we got the Cofagrigus into play. Gonna throw down another Ditto. Now the purpose of Ditto, of course, is to add another Pokemon on top of, of the other stuff. So the idea is you want to use uh, Ditto first, put it down, and then transform into the Yamask which then evolves into the Cofagrigus. So that way, when you knock Cofagrigus out, you um, get three Pokemon into the discard pile instead of just two. So I do use six feet under because there's a good chance I am just going to get my Cofagrigus knocked out. Um, so instead of just having it get knocked out, I decide, hey, let's actually just put damage on the field and maybe my Ditto will get knocked out and then I'll get another Pokemon in the discard pile. I don't know if that was the right move, but decided, heck, I want to do that 30 damage while I still can, okay? Now we're going to see what Mike can do here. Uh, he's got an Ultra Ball. Discard's a Dark Claw. It's probably not going to be too worthwhile in this matchup because, well, my Pokemon don't have much HP, and that is really the downfall of this deck, besides the fact that you're killing yourself all the time. Uh, this is really more of a fun deck than anything. It can compete sometimes, but this is not going to be a deck that's going to win any tournaments. At least, I don't think so. Maybe I'll be proved wrong, but uh, it just does not seem like the kind of deck that is going to win a big event. Uh, so here we go. He does take the knockout on my Ditto. And all right, here we got to find out. How how much damage can I do, first of all? Uh, let's see. I could have transformed my Ditto into a Ditto, couldn't I? I should have done that. Should have went for the Ditto into Ditto play. <laughs> um... Also, when I searched through my deck, I realized that three Cofagrigus were prized. So, uh, that's why I'm not benching that Yamask. And I am uh, Junipering that away, discarding it. We're going to get another Flareon. And I believe now I have five Pokemon in my discard pile, which means Vengeance will do 70. And that'll be perfect. So, I'm also going to Ultra Ball here for Electrode. Get my Magnetic Draw going on. We have all sorts of Pokemon in here. You can see the Clefairy. Um, Clefable has Moon Guidance. I know Kyle uh, Sablehouse referred to Clefable as G-Dog. I'm not quite sure what the story is behind that, but that's what we're going to call it. Um, so G-Dog, he uh, uses Moon Guidance. It's flip a coin every turn. If heads, you get to evolve a Pokemon in your field. So the idea is you get to put down a Ditto, transform into Yamask, and then if you flip heads, you can immediately... Um, evolve into Cofagrigus and get more Pokemon in your discard pile. Now, unfortunately, I have a ton of Pokemon prized, including that I, I did get one Cofagrigus out of the prizes, but there are two more prized, so I'm probably not going to be able to use Moon Guidance this game. We'll see, though. Um, 
So yeah, looks like my opponent is able to get another Absol all powered up. It only takes two energy to attack. So that's pretty simple to get going. Uh, so this is going to be a big pain for me. I do have another Flareon ready to go. But yeah, this is just going to be a pain, that's for sure. I'm going to set up Flareon. Um, my, my saving grace here is that, you know, I, I'm giving up prizes so quickly that I can end my opponent and put them down to three cards. I'm going to take a look. There's one, two, three, four, five. There should be seven Pokemon in here. I need to discard one more to get a knockout here. Hmm. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, so now I got to decide what to do. I might have to Juniper now just to get the knockout. So I'm going to go ahead and recycle, and I'm going to put something probably stupid on top, because I really don't need anything, unfortunately. But I do need to discard a Pokemon here. So we're going to put the Ultra Ball on top, and then Juniper the hand away, and draw seven, get a Ditto, and an Eevee. So i got to decide, do I want to transform? And I decide, yes, I do. Um, then I could play a Level Ball here. I'd like to get another Eevee out if possible. Uh, but it looks like I may be out of Eevees, and that's not good. And what do I take here, then? Now, I could take Clefable, get my Moon Guidance going on. Or I could grab maybe Yamask, and then Ultra Ball away two Pokemon. Uh, looks like I'm favoring the Clefable here. I'm not too sure why. I probably should have just been Ultra Balling away Pokemon at this point. Go for Recycle, get a Tails. I will put G-Dog into play, and I probably should have used Moon Guidance as well, because um, there is a Flareon left. But we do exactly enough, Vengeance for 100, and now my opponent is just left with one Dark Energy on a Darkrai. We do have a DCE in hand for the next Flareon, and he asks a Fable, and uh, yeah, you got to do it for the maximum Kofagrigus action. Moon Guidance, there he is. Alright, so this deck is definitely one of the crazier decks in the format. Um, if not the craziest deck in the format. Uh, it's a ridiculous combination. I play like 25 Pokemon, probably more than that, honestly. Um, you have to, otherwise Vengeance doesn't do anything. So you can see I've gone through a lot of resources so far. It's actually a very complicated deck to play, as weird as it sounds. Like, um... Uh, it's tough to actually maximize all of your resources with this deck. It, it just... It is. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, you have to keep track of a lot of little things with this deck. So it looks like my opponent did end me here. So I'm going to play a level ball. Get a Yamask. And then transform into the Yamask. And then uh, we're going to attach to Clefable, I suppose. And then I'll get to retreat. I probably could have used Electro there before the Juniper, but uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Would have been bad. All right, so we get the Cofagrigus into play, and then another Flareon. And all right, so we can start to get things moving along here a little bit. Um, so it's time to do some math. This is the hardest part of this deck. Let's see. Uh, couldn't quite catch how many Pokemon were in my discard pile there, but I think... If I can put Kofagrigus into the discard pile, that'll be three more Pokemon. The Ditto, the Yamask, and the Kofagrigus. Um, that'd be nice to get more damage on my opponent's field. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine Pokemon in the discard pile. Not quite sure. Eight or nine. Uh, let's see, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Pokemon in the discard pile. So I'm doing 100 damage right now. I'll be doing 130 if I put Kofagrigus six feet under. Uh, and I'll put three damage counters on my opponent's field. So I'm trying to figure out a play here where I can get a victory in a couple turns here. I only have to knock out two EXs to win. So I'm going to put 10 on the Deoxys EX and then 20 on that Darkrai EX. Um, the reasoning for this is I'm going to put down another Yamask and then... Uh, we'll hold on to the Recycle for next turn, since we can always use Electrode with that. Alright, we're going to do 130 with Vengeance, which leaves Deoxys EX with 30 hit points. So if I get another Kofagrigus next turn, um, we can use 6 feet under 
to do the finishing 30 on the Deoxys DX, and then I'll have enough to use Vengeance for the finishing 160 on that Darkrai, and we'll actually end up winning the game in one fell swoop here with six feet under and Flareon. But here comes Darkrai, and there is a Juniper for seven. This could get a little scary. You know, if he does catch her out, the Yamas can knock it out. That takes away my play. And I actually might not be able to get enough Pokemon in the discard pile then to knock out this Darkrai with Vengeance. And that would be very bad uh, because then I would just get Night Spirit and lose. <laughs> so this is coming down to the wire here. Uh, Flareon Cofagrigus is definitely putting up more of a fight than I thought it would. Uh, I thought I would just get blown out in this game, that's for sure. Absol kind of wrecks this deck for, for two energy. Mind Jack really puts a beating on everything. And you know, Darkrai is pretty good too. So here is the Night Spear. Poor Yamask takes a smack in the face for 180 damage since it's weak to Dark. And this has got to be it here. I mean, I need to knock out this Darkrai, otherwise I'm going to lose. Actually, never mind. I have Life Dew. I forgot about that. That was the big combo with this deck as well. That's why we play so many Recycle. All right, the idea is to Life do on your Cofagrigus to use six feet under. Then he, your opponent doesn't take a prize for getting the knockout. Um, so, all right, we play a bunch of Audinos in this deck as well, since you can discard them with Busybody. Um, but yeah, that Life do plus Recycle, you can save a lot of prizes that way. It's pretty funny. All right, we're going to attach to Flareon. We do have that Life do. On the active Flareon, so even if that gets knocked out, we'll be good. And now we have to decide. How can we do this? Do we have enough Pokemon in the discard pile to get a knockout, first of all? There's 160 HP left on this Darkrai. I'm really sad that that uh, Yamas got knocked out, because I really wanted to go for the six feet under victory. But, let's see, there's... I can't quite see how many Pokemon. I think I'm ten short, actually. Uh, I'm ten short of getting the knockout. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm ten short. So, well, we go for the recycle and get heads here. We have a play. Level ball on top. Magnetic draw for one. Draw the level ball. What a broken combo. Get another Audino. And go ahead and use Busybody. Put another Pokemon in the discard pile. Healing ten off of the uh, Flareon. And, all right, there is a Vengeance for 160 exactly then. Well, that is clutch. Mike is correct there. That was a clutch recycle and electrode combo. Get another Audino out of the prizes and a Cofagrigus. And at this point, I mean, I think it looks like we win. Um, I mean, I can busybody. I can knock out pretty much anything here at this point. There is a Hypnotoxic Laser. I'm not too scared because I do have Audino. And my opponent has played his hand down to zero. Oh, we have a catcher in hand. And we can catch her out that Deoxys that we softened up before for the win. That's it. We did it. <laughs> and Flareon Cofagrigus takes it home uh, with, wow, just a bunch of wacky attackers and a whole bunch of weird Pokemon, that's for sure. So this was definitely one of the strangest games I've ever played with one of the strangest decks I've ever used. And again, shout out to Kyle Sablehouse for the idea. This deck is awesome. Um, I don't even know what else to say. MVP Flareon. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game. I sure did. I am Puka here from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.